without the lens. Oh yeah, wow. Hello Peachy fam, how are you doing today? We're testing out iPhone lenses, gonna do a comparison between two companies. Hope y'all are doing great. If you're not a part of the Peachy fam yet, if you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. So I do video, mainly. I wouldn't per se call myself a photographer just because I know so many talented photographers. I'm like, I don't, I don't have the special sauce that you have. The sauce is forever. You know what I'm saying? But I would consider myself an iPhoneographer. I think I get some pretty sick pictures on my iPhone. I'm currently using the iPhone 7 Plus and these lenses we're gonna test out from Moment and Pixter. Take your iPhone to that next level by allowing you to take fish eye pictures, which means super, super wide pictures, or even telephoto pictures, which kind of like zooms in on the subject without loss of quality. Now the main difference between these two companies Pixter, it's a clip-on lens. So it doesn't require anything but your iPhone. You just literally clip it on your phone, but with that you can suffer from vignetting and also just getting it over your camera perfectly. With Moment lenses, you do require a special iPhone case, which is a little bit of an annoyance, but it's very easy to attach the lens. You know you're getting every time, and the quality of the lenses are mwah. What was that? I don't know what that was. So first, let's unbox these things and see what we're getting. This is the Moment Wide Lens. Beautiful. It comes with a case. This is the Super Fisheye Lens. This is the case that you need in order to use the Moment lenses. Kind of a basic black case, but they kept the profile pretty thin, which is nice. I do have four Pixter lenses, but these are gonna be the most comparable to the moment. So we have the grand angle, which is wide angle, and also the fisheye. This is the grand angle. So here's the lens, and then here's the clip. Here is the fisheye. Clip and then the lens. So we got the moment, fish eye and wide angle, and then the Pixter fish eye and wide angle. We'll also bring along these, which are macro and telephoto to play with later. Hi, do you know me? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go with a video right now, what's up? What's your uh, name? Francesco. Italy. Hi! <laughs> so something that plays in to shooting with your iPhone is the speed. You just whip it out and you take the picture. So I want to see how long it actually takes to put these lenses on the camera. So first the Pixter with the clip. I'm going to play around with the fisheye first. I guess you screw it on. Alright, so that was very painless. Okay, so it's majorly blocking the camera. I gotta fix that. Okay, so you have to get it like just perfect, which can be kind of annoying to adjust, but it's not super difficult. But see, you'll get some vignetting around the side. Okay, so I think that's in focus. It's super fisheye. Whoa, you can see my hand. And now for the moment fisheye, I don't like cases. So the case is somewhat annoying. However, this gets rid of the annoyance of trying to find the perfect fit. Okay, and I think that's it. The case actually feels good. Ooh, see, this just looks clean. No vignetting or anything. Did someone say, Beep House Scoots? It's Beep House Scoot season, baby. <laughs> and I live on the internet. I love your hat. It can swag. Amazing. Okay, this is the mission. I have two fish eye lenses and two wide lenses. You're gonna be my model. Sounds like a normal day. <laughs> a normal day in the NYC. Look at the sunset. The 
first modeling sesh was a success. This is the moment lens fisheye with video. Without the lens. Oh yeah, wow. That makes it so much wider. I didn't even think about using these for video, but I feel like it would be way more functional for me to use like the fisheye and the wide for video for Instagram stories. Mm. Cause y'all know the Instagram stories are lit. So I might get super creative with that. So that was a fisheye and now it's time to move on to the wide. Fisheye lenses are always going to be wider than wide, but they're often distorted looking, but sometimes you want that. So this will get you the wide angle without the distortion. So this is the wide moment lens. So wide. So wide. This is video with the Pixter wide angle. As you can tell, there's not as much vignetting because it's a wide and not a fisheye. So with Pixter lens, without it. But see that clip on, it is easy to take off. It's That's just nice. putting it on. Oh, but that was easy. It works well with the wide angle. This is Pixter super fisheye video. It looks cool though. Yeah. It actually looks cool. Can I give it a ride? A little bit? and we are going to continue shooting with these lenses. I ditched the bags for the Pixter lenses because they're already, they're like ready to go like this. So now I just have to like take off the cap and we're in business. These are the two that I have not played with yet. It's a telephoto and a macro. So I will play with those a little bit. I wish I had the moment version of the telephoto and macro. They do have those options, but I just have the Pixter ones. So I'll take a few pics with those. I have an iPhone 7 Plus. So the thing with the telephoto lens is like, do you really need it? Because I have that two times option. So we'll see if there's a clarity difference. A macro lens allows you to take pictures super close up to subjects. And also all of the video that you've seen so far via my iPhone has been unedited So I'm going to film my journey to sweet green because I'm very very hungry right now uh, with these lenses And I'm gonna put a little bit of my own flavor to it so you can kind of just see the possibilities Also huge life update yo girl got a pea truck don't want to be too in your face or inappropriate But can we just talk about how ridiculous my iPhone looks in my back pocket? <laughs> That's just too much. That's funny though. It does fit. All right, so we are going to start with the moment lenses. So the first half of this will be the moment wide and the moment fisheye. India. There's India. India. India! <laughs> I just randomly ran into a good friend, India, on the side of the street. That happens all the time in New York, and it's so crazy, because this place is so big and there's so many people. I love it. Wait, wait, wait. Well, I miss the rain by like that much. 
Woo! Before I give you my final thoughts on kind of the Pixter versus moment lenses, I'm going to kind of dive in to the pictures and video that I took, see what it looks like on a laptop screen instead of just my phone, and then I shall give you my final thoughts. office episodes later and some peeping at the footage and pictures. I have my final thoughts on moment versus Pixter lenses for the iPhone. Something to mention, the moment lenses are strictly for iPhones, but Pixter, because they are clip-ons, you can really use them with any cell phone. Yes, these are both attachable lenses for your phones, but I feel like they are so different and serve a different purpose depending who you are and how you use your phone. Moment, the lenses are gorgeous. The experience is very smooth. I'm not a case person, so I don't know if I could vouch just using Moment's case so I could throw on these lenses every now and then. If there was a white case, that might be different. As I started using the lenses and they were so easy to just like lock in and go, they were secure, I could ride around without worrying if the lens was gonna fall. I don't know, the ease of use like kind of did make it worth it and the image, the image was without fail amazing. And I found the experience and just the attention to detail and the design and like how well they were made very inspiring. I haven't gotten some new camera gear in a very long time, so I found myself using the moment gear and being like, oh wait. I, I feel like I need more. Okay, wait, there's there's also a macro and a telephoto of, of these lenses. I need those lenses. And I started like looking at their website and they had all these artsy fartsy pictures and you know, there's a travel case for it. And I was just scrolling and I was like, oh my gosh, well, if I'm gonna have all the lenses, I need this cool looking travel case to be a cool mobile photographer, videographer. So I think the craftsmanship and the actual use of the product as you're using it is prop it is better than Pixter, but there's a reason for that. It's $40 more expensive. You have to ask yourself the question, is it worth it to spend $90, $100 on something that attaches to your phone, which should already be like a very simple tool to create with. And then you have Pixter, the clip-on lenses. As I was riding around and being more active with it, I was scared that it was gonna fall off, so that's something that you have to um, deal with. But the actual like pictures and video actually turned out Good. I do think at the end of the day, Moment has a cleaner look. I don't find the telephoto long lens super important, but being that these are clip-ons and that I can put them on my phone, uh, like without a case, just my usual pop socket setup is actually really appealing to me because when I'm using my phone, when I'm using my iPhone, I want it to be the simplest process as possible. The clip-on thing is a little bit hassle-free when it comes to what phone can you use and where can you use it ah you forgot your case or something but then if you just keep the moment case on your phone then it's a very simple process so it's really up to you do you want to spend more money for a quality bump because you don't care that you need a case or do you want kind of a fun new toy that enhances your mobile photography and videography experience without having to go out of the way to buy a new case like I said I think these lenses actually live in two different worlds and I can see why you guys out there could justify both of them. Not that you need both of them, but there's a very specific reason to go for Moment. There's a very specific reason to go with Pixter. So it just it just depends what you think and how you use them. I definitely want to get the other Moment lenses for sure, but I actually am very intrigued by this concept of kind of uh, making my iPhone more of a shooter. Not in terms of for the videos that I post on YouTube. Yeah, I'm sure it'll make its way into some of my videos, but I already have a very good like Sony setup where where if it's a more serious gig, I'll use my bigger cameras, but I can usually take my RX100 point and shoot everywhere. Where I am intrigued is I have been getting so into Instagram stories lately. And I also just love the platform Instagram. So if I can enhance the pictures that I'm actually posting on my Instagram feed and also make the videos on my Instagram story cool and making them different by adding wide and fisheye shots, I am so down for that. I hope you guys enjoy this video. All the links will be in the description below. I thoroughly have enjoyed making this video and playing around with these lenses. I'm getting my gear bug back. 
I want to buy stuff. I want to buy more camera gear and I just want to go and shoot. That's what has been so inspiring. It's been cool to like go out and just shoot for shooting. Gotta do more of that. Links in the description below. Hit that subscribe button if you are new around here for new videos every single Monday through Friday. Every single Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let me know if you like this video. Hit that subscribe button down below. Stay peachy. Okay, bye.